Shijad Mubarak and uh, I share my knowledge on the research techniques, especially primary data techniques like stratification modeling, multi-attribute data management, and sometime on the secondary data techniques like stochastic frontier analysis. So please subscribe to my YouTube channel and press the bell button in order to receive the messages when I'm making any new video. Today I am going to share with you something about uh, the partial least square uh, which is called a PLS. Normally uh, today in this uh, short video I will try to tell you that what is the difference between the partial least square method and the covariance based structural equation modeling. In fact what happens that once we talk about structural equation modeling so always uh, one thing come in our mind and that is the AMOS means covariance based structural equation modeling whereas it's not the reality uh, I don't say it's not a reality means uh, the the real thing is that structural equation modeling is a family of techniques which has primarily two branches one is the partial least square SCM which is called PLS SCM or the component based SCM whereas the other one is the co uh, covariance based SCM which is which normally we call it SCM the PLS SCM is uh, uh, applied uh, primarily through the PLS Smart uh, software and which is uh, a flagship software for uh, this particular technique whereas the, for the covariance based SCM which normally we only call SCM is uh, applied through the AMOS or there are the other software as well like Lizzle, Tariqs, uh, something like uh, these kind of softwares. So today I am going to tell you that what is the difference between PLS uh, SCM and covariance based SCM. So first of all what is uh, for what purpose PLS SCM is used? Normally PLS SCM is used one when you have an established model and uh, we know that this, this model is particularly established but we want to forecast or we want to predict the key targets or constructs uh, or we want to identify the key drivers of the constructs. Means that once we are applying the PLS SCM our goal is forecasting or the prediction not the theory testing number one so that's why whenever we are applying the PLS SCM our model should be well confirmed the theory should, it, should, it should have a confirmed theory whereas in the covariance space SCM the goal is the theory testing or maybe the theory confirmation or the comparisons of the alternative theories number one secondly uh, the PLS SCM one of the advantage of the PLS SCM is that it it pretty it deals pretty well with the small sample size even if you have the 100 sample size of 100 or 90 it, it deals pretty well whereas the covariance based SCM is good for the large samples or maybe at least sample size greater than the 200 uh, uh, number of respondents so PLS SCM for the small sample size and covariance space SCM for comparatively large sample size. This is the number two uh, difference. Number three is that PLS SCM does not require normality of the data. It means the data should data may not be univariate or multivariately normal. Uh, so it, you can say that it's a non-parametric technique which can pretty well deal with the normality, non-normality of the data. Whereas in the covariance space SCM you have to have the data which should have the univariate normality as well as a group weighted normality. So in covariance based SCM data is not normal we cannot apply uh, uh, CV SCM. We have to make the data normal. Okay. Uh, then uh, the last one which is very important that in the COVID, in the PLS SCM we can also use the formative constructs whereas the, in the covariance space the formative constructs may not be used to. For example in the PLS we we make the formative construct I think that uh, in order to get what the formative construct is or what's the difference between the formative and reflective construct you have to watch my video which is related to the formative and reflective construct but uh, the benefit of the PLS SEM is that we can use uh, uh, pretty well it uses the formative construct so these are the primary difference between the uh, covariance based SCM and the PLS SCM that's why now, now at the end let me tell you that a lot of people among us they think that covariance based SCM is a superior technique and PLS is a kind of an inferior or it's an easy going technique but it's not the fact uh, in fact both the techniques have the equal relevance equal importance now it depends upon the data it depends upon our nature of objectives it depends upon our research objectives that what kind of thing we want to do and then we can choose the techniques both of them thank you very much and uh, keep watching our videos